So we're here with Richie Renneberg, two-time doubles Grand Slam champion, former number one doubles player in the world. And Richie, first of all, thanks for joining us, and tell us how you got involved with Thanks USA. Uh, well, I moved to the D.C. area about 10 years ago. I've known uh, Bobby Oaken for, mm -hmm. for a while, and he's the one who started this uh, charity tennis um, here in Washington. It's very popular, and mm -hmm. so it's, it's a good uh, sort of... Uh, a mechanism for getting people together and uh, and and doing something like this. So it's um it's it's been a lot of fun. I think this is my fourth or fifth year here, oh, and it's uh, it's a great event. Well, tell me a little bit about actually playing these matches. What's your favorite part of this? Because Jim Grab was saying earlier, we talked to him. He said you wanted no piece of him. So I wanted I to wanted verify. I wanted right. to verify that. Yeah, Jim's really good. So. Uh, no, you know, I think for me, I, I got out of tennis when I when I retired from the tour. So it's it's fun to see. The, um, the guys I used to hang out with mm -hmm. a lot, like Jimmy Arias, um, not so much Jim, but um, uh, some of these <laughs> some of these other guys out here, and um, and so that that's I kind of I kind of miss that at times. You know, I spent mm -hmm. um, time I was eight or nine to the time I was uh, 35 or so playing on uh, tennis competitively, and so these are guys who I've been with a long time, and and so that's uh, it's a lot of fun. Well, we do a lot of online instruction, and a lot of our folks want to know some stuff about doubles, some some sort of advice from the pros. So what are some sort of the key, I guess, differences, you would say, between a high-level doubles player, a Grand Slam champion, and then just maybe an amateur or rec player? Well, I mean, I guess, I mean, in terms of things one can do in doubles, I always felt that it was very good to be active at the net. Mm -hmm. um, I was not that good at it, but, but a lot of my partners were, and so... Um, it, it was it was oftentimes good to have one person who was a little bit more consistent, another person who could kind of make things happen. So you're saying you didn't I was so I was much. a more consistent. I should have, and I tried to, but I, but I think that that's a good thing to do. It's um, it's a tactic that even if you lose a point, let's say your partner's serving you cross and they 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 burn you down the line, uh, you end up getting in their head a little bit and you sure. win a couple of points after that. So I think it's good to be active at the net. Um, I think it's um, it's also important in doubles to kind of pick a shot and hit it. I think you know the um, y there's a tendency to kind of watch the other team and be afraid about the net guy crossing and this and that. You know you see a lot of people kind of take their eye off the ball in doubles. So kind of pick a shot, keep your head down and hit it. Um, other than that, you know it's I think it's 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 like anything else. Kind of the better players end up winning more than not. But there's certain strategic things you can do in doubles to kind of throw your your opponents off, like crossing and, and stuff like that. So would I be inaccurate if I if I if I uh, rephrase that and said most rec players allow uh, their opposition to get away with with the return just cross court? They make it very predictable for them and don't kind of pressure them by crossing yeah. or playing eye. I think so. I mean, obviously, there's different levels of the recreational tennis, but um, but yeah. I mean, in general, that's what I'm sort of saying is that people, mm -hmm. you know, there, there's it, it's worth a try, kind of crossing and, and moving around a little bit, um, because uh, I think first of all, you get a little bit better workout, and, mm -hmm. and you, you also then can try to end points and make things happen, which makes it a little bit more fun. And uh, and lastly, like you say, hopefully, if, if you kind of are doing uh, playing matches somewhat competitively or club matches, you you know, you can throw your opponents off a little bit. Well, great. Well, once again, Richie, thanks so much for supporting a great cause. Sure. All right. Pleasure.